Now that's dry and I'm just going to tidy it up a wee bit with a black gel pen just to um, sharpen it up a wee bit. The idea is that it is theatrical but we just want it to be as clear as possible from a distance. I like the black gel pen because it does give a sharpness and you can see how some of this has faded off um, around the white there so I'm just going to um, top that up a wee bit with a bit more white and but before I do I just want to uh, make that there to look like it's things so a little bit of white getting to the end of my white Sure, wolves don't have such lovely clean teeth. Hyenas, I mean. But maybe we'll just give these enough white to make them stand out and look scary enough. I get my ideas of Pinterest for these. I can get good clear pictures just have to make them look like big chunky teeth I don't really know what hyena's teeth look like. That will do for that for the time being. Just use this yellow to yellow up the eyes a little tad. Mix it in with that white. Just to give it a mean look. Put the yellow on the nose maybe. I'd have to wet it. too much but the colour of the fabric that I'm using is a 
Um, it's just a, a tan cotton. It's a good, I don't know whether it's a linen cotton, but it, it, the colour's perfect for this. So now yeah, just sharpening the edges. Just, oh, I think it'll be all right. Just put a touch of red in there. mean look maybe a bit on the nose I think some This one, he's going to have his tongue hanging out. his ears in uh, and once the ears are in I'll shape them so I'm just poke them in the in the side here so the armature just goes into the stuffing and then I will shape them into the Put the lid on the what that's left. So all I have to do is stitch those in and then they'll have a piece of um, hair going over them. So here is two that I've done, two meanies. And next time you see this, he'll have a tongue hanging out somewhere. Okay.